I've got a present for you. Okay, so game number one of this series, Legend vs. Goodyear. Uh, Goodyear is a Chinese player, Legend playing out of CNC net. Okay, this is played on, on Rambo. Um, Goodyear has started a Soviet, interesting. I wondered if he was going to play um, Yuri for most parts of this. I, I'm sure he'll change up his faction. And I would imagine Legend will, will be heavy on Soviet throughout. Unless he... Unless he struggles maybe so versus the Soviet, then he, he may try something different. But I would imagine we'll see lots of legend playing as as Yuri uh, as Soviet, sorry. Good you switching up the factions. He did play this map as Allied against Latov only a few days ago. So what do we know of Good Yule? What do we know? Good question. Uh, we've seen him twice um on my stream. Um, and he sits around rank 7 or 8 on Rambo ladder. Um, but his first game, um, he played against Osama. Osama played as Yuri, so his preferred faction. Goodyear played um, as Soviet that day. Uh, Goodyear won that game 8-1 against Osama, which was really, really impressive. Earlier in the week, he played against Latov, again on Yuri's Revenge. And he won that 7-3. Um... Goodyear is extremely strong, very, very strong. He can play all three factions as well. So, a lot of people would see the name Legend, see it, Yuri's Venge. Your first thought is, ah, he'll be favourite here. Yeah, I wouldn't be back in, I wouldn't want to be placing my bets on this person. I would, I would stay clear. Predictions are there. Potentially from Goodyear coming in. Yeah, the Latov match was the uh, was an interesting. The Soviet versus Soviet. We won't mention it. Uh, Miner goes. Does Miner takes care of the drone? Uh, difference in building this top right hand side. We don't really see um, don't really see the build like this. The, the move of the MCB and the breath down there, but it, it looks pretty nice actually. I like that build to be honest. It's pretty simple. Um, another drone out here for Legend. Uh, the drone's quite nice because normally you'd like to move your MCV quite quickly on this bottom left spot here. Once this ref goes in there, and you can structure this all patch, but normally we see it. But it's got another drone that just slows him down on, on possibly moving. But yeah, it might move the MCV here and then put the ref. Uh, drone goes down as well. Yeah, is it going to move that MCV into that left spot? The drone is out. It's running across the ore. May pick up this rhino here. It does get this rhino here as well. I'm going to look to push into this area here. And Legend just caught here. It's not paying completely attention. I'm going to run behind the miners to help him. Reinforcements are coming in. It's on the back of this. And see some rhinos coming up to the top left hand side. Looks like a uh, legend has noticed this. A so legend playing in the good deal is in pink colour. Um, one, two, three, four war factories. One, two, three. Four, four factory comes down now. The rhinos on the right hand side. Some reinforcement rhinos coming in. Rhinos on the left and some rhinos in the middle. But that's a nice trade for a legend. Pushing back there. Should do anyway, although one of these rhinos just come in single file there, a couple of them, so it didn't work out quite as well. Um, and actually, Goodyear wins that fight, even though it was four versus three rhinos, it looked like one rhino and one ticket health. But coming on this bottom spot, coming in the middle spot as well, just look at his build. Um, nice build from Goodyear. Uh, look at these miners, boys and girls. Look at them miners. They come on the wall back there. Are we just gonna? Uh, yeah, it doesn't take it. 
That brings the mine across for a little bit of Quella. Quella and the sentry. Push him back there. Reinforcements coming in on this side. Trying to get his miners to work a little bit more efficiently here, Legend. And Goodyear's build is really nice. I like what he's done here. May come down the cliff soon either and get onto gems as well. Straight on the wall factory there. Just teasing him back in. And then gonna come through the middle here. Good gel is, is determining what happens in this game, isn't he? He's the one being aggressive. He's the one back and forward. Now split on the left hand side. So he's keeping himself busy in three ways all the time here. Um, one of the things you would say is that this is Legend's game also. This is how Legend likes to play. Although he is grouped up now, so he needs to sort himself out. But this is the way that Legend, this sort of play style, does suit Legend pretty well. This would be a nice ref. Good job doing a good job of not overcommitting for buildings. Not making any mistakes in overcommitting for buildings. He's just looping him around this clip here, back and forward. And he's going to run in this time to... Doesn't get the ref. I'll push him back. I'm not sure how much joy he got. A miner here surely will be taken care of. Does. And he's going to push up on that top side. Oh, he keeps the miner as well. Good job. Just kind of, every time, almost killing something. But I'm making a good habit, well, a bad habit, of leaving things on one or two ticks. So push on the left side for Legend. He's trying to push out. These back and forth of these rhinos. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, three. He's pushing the top side here. Bottom side, Legend is pushing him back, but he's not engaging just yet. You can see on the middle side, the top side he wins. Legend forcing him back on the bottom right hand side, top left hand side. Legend going down, trying to bring some rhinos. Still in the middle bit here, going to lose. And Legend could be in trouble here. Forcing him back on this side. Going to come on the left hand side and try to respond. They've got a lot of rhinos in here. Engaging on the left hand side there. Legend will win that one. Bottom side now, he comes across, that's one mine, it was really weak. Uh, it's just on Rambo. It's just on Rambo, as the observer. You can see it. You can have it removed. Leave the sentence to, to remove this. On the top side, trying to do some work. Bottom side here, lots, lots going on to be honest. Oh, the path in there, not great. Legend just get caught with that path, but it just has the feeling that Good has been in control of this game. Um, sort of throughout. He's two minutes away from an iron curtain as well. Trying to engage in this middle bit. Legend a little bit out tank. He's out tank on the bottom side here as well. The left hand side of his arm is coming in. Legend goes down 1 0. See how we get on with that. It is slightly close on my mic now. Uh, bottom left hand side is Good Job. Um, he's a jury. Top right hand side is Legend. So we're going to have a Yuri versus Soviet. Uh, we saw Latov play this spot. We saw Latov get punished for not pushing Odesso early enough. He took a long time to get Odesso out. And he got punished for that. So two initiates weren't enough to stop that dog coming in for a scout. Brute comes out. Um, so he's allowing him a scout. As, as mentioned before in other games, sometimes when you're playing as you, the difficult thing sometimes is to get... A decent scout on your opponent and um Soviet definitely have the option to to make that very difficult but um, it doesn't bring any connies just goes for the drone so allows him to see his war factory in this rep there's the radar so um a mag will come and last time he put a mag and a gat over this side and then come on the left hand side of a mag and a gat and it was this corner here against Latov where he did loads of work with his mag um legend didn't message me he did say he did see some of the games against Latov um, however, it's quite an obvious thing on, on a map like this. You need to be weary of a mag coming. So the next problem should be a radar. He's got a mag, so it will come either side. We'll bring a mag and a gat into there and a mag and a gat into there. Just looking to get a scout now as well. The drone out. Um, and he brings a lasher. We, we saw this. He, he's really committing. He's going to be broke here. This miner is... In an awful position in terms of it's so far away from the gems um, and he's only now getting to a second minor so he's considerably behind here with minor so legend just needs to defend well with desos here and he's chilling he needs to get a deso over to here pretty quick there's one minor or oh, he keeps it alive and he'll keep this one but it's this one here he needs to be careful of he needs to sell it sell it it does lose it but the miners are one two three four he lost one 
versus one, two, three, four. So he's not behind. But the vetoes are spread now. My bad. I don't know why that popped up on my screen. Hey, Australian. This is a good little counter as well. Hey, Australian can be taken um, by the drone. Couple of gats there, and again a quite aggressive early play from Vigil. He's losing these desos as well. And the mag on the cliff. There is a deso there. Lovely placement on that deso. The drone goes down. Battle lab is out. So good move the miner. Get them a sprinkle of gems. Just moving these three miners now as well. And again this miner on this top side. Chaos Drone doing a really good job. Nice Sentry comes in just to help him here. Will it be enough? Deto deployed again. Two Miners now AFK, obviously, because he's trying to prevent. Gets an Elite Mag as well. Trying to prevent that Mag drop. Chaos Drone is there. Deto coming to try and help. And the mag dropping, doing lovely work here with the mag. Good Jill's tank control is, is very nice. Rhino split on the bottom right hand side. Something Legend's very good at. Where the focus and attention is, he's quite good at just moving away from it and trying to create opportunities for himself. But Good Jill's Yuri um, is really strong in what we've seen. Um, and it's proven early here. A Chaos Drone. Is that what you call it? Chaos drone? Let's get confused that unit. Here we go. Push in here though. And there's the mastermind and there's the tower. And that is that done with that push on the bottom left hand side. And he gets four rhinos for it as well. They're not overloaded because the psychic tower there supported it. This uh, here, Iron Curtain is counting down three minutes. That's going to feel like a long three minutes for this push. Um, a Yuri Prime in here would be lovely. Now, this has proven early on that this game is, is going to go to Goodyo. He's been in control of this game from the start. There is the drop. And Legend just quits out. <laughs> I'm a Goody fan. Um, so Goodyo continues as Yuri. Top left as green and the bottom right hand side is Legend. Um, I don't mind this map here for Soviet against Yuri. I don't think this is the best Yuri map, in my opinion. Um, Latov was able to beat Gajul here as Soviet um, against Gajul's uh, Yuri. A few initiates out, kind of a semi attempt at uh, uh, stopping him scouting, and then we'll just use them for the power. Um, that wasn't success successful. Dog walk straight through. Uh, the brute here is out. Looking for a scout. Wants to get over to that wall factory as well to see what comes. Um, probably just about maybe sees a little bit of it there. Um, early mag again. So two gats. So then you bring a mag straight out. Then you go minus behind it. Um, which forces Legend into his own early radar. Um, you can counter it by going sort of quite a few flaks early on. But it it's, can send you broke. Um, and also with some really good mag control can still be not successful. The Deso is the easier option, but I don't know why you call it a grudge match, Zed. But many of your games aren't grudge matches, are they? <laughs> um So again with lashes. This is the interesting thing about Kajul's Yuri, he uses a lot of lashes. He'll play heavy on lashes, but the interesting thing is, is how he makes it work. He kind of brings in a couple of mags with it. 
Um, yeah, and, it, and he makes it work pretty well. I'm just trying to split here early. This death so trying to follow. I can get a deploy over that side, so that's um, an opening down on there as well. Just looking back on his base, he has a minor long distance over there onto the gem. That's pretty nice early. This Desso needs to come in and, and, and prevent. And Desso out of position now. A good drop. How good is his man control here? Can he get some, Can he get it right? Can he drop a minor onto a minor? Doesn't do so yet. Left hand side, a little bit of harassment. So it stops a minor from mining for a little bit. However, Legend will, will be okay with that. Could have been a lot worse. Could have had a minor drop on a, on a minor. And this post, this this bit here, I'm not sure what you call that, but you can also drop a minor on top of that as well. So it could have been worse there for Legend for sure. He has gone broke. Both players going broke temporarily. Um, Desso there as well. Desso could really deploy. Let's get the deploy. And a disc is out. Just one more factory, one minor. A couple of miners not in the best spots here. Could move both of these. Definitely this one. Uh, so minor count one, two, three, four, um, five, six. Looks like six miners for Yuri. And uh, for Legend, sorry, in a uh, Soviet. Disc here. Just doesn't have a mastermind. There's anything he's kind of missing here, really. Doing some work again. Deploy, does deploy. Nice deploy there from Legend. Mag on the cliff though, needs to be careful. The Deso's coming over. Deso's will hold him back. Genetic Mutator is out. Minor count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looks like 5 for the Yuri player in good duel in the green colour. And the Masterminds come and brings a miner out of the war factory there. Has two war factories, two war factories versus one. No industrial plant just yet for Legend. And the Iron Curtain is now about to be ready. Oh, it's going to engage here. There's a few mags there. There's a Mastermind now. And good jewels, tank control. Again, pretty good. Layers up that RD. Just wonder if you should have waited for the um, the Iron Curtain. Gets the IC drones coming now, but the Battle Lab is going to go down. Force Shield does use a Force Shield. As I say, but the War Factory will be. This is about to go down, which will turn the Rhinos back over, but it does lose a War Factory and force the Force Shield as well. Keeps the Battle Lab alive now, but Kajul's pressure is just going to keep coming. He has no War Factory here. Legend. He has a lot of money, and now the Lashes are coming. Genetic Mutator comes out as well. No Grinder as of yet, but. Good jewels, Yuri, again, just looking really strong. And we we would probably say in, in the CNC community that Legend is the strongest Yuri killer. And now I know there'll be a couple of people that may disagree or say, well, actually Marco's this or, or Latoff or, or Kian. Uh, I don't know, it's always subjective. But we will probably say the majority of people would say Legend probably our strongest boss and they go into battle against a Chinese player um, playing a Soviet versus Yuri and... A good deal is very comfortable here. He's pushing the miners now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, four, sorry. Discount. Four war factories pushing out the miners. Right, Legend on 6k. Got, got the double war factory back up. We're just a bit stale here for a second. Oh, good deal just pushed a few miners. Uh, I'd imagine he will transition into Lashes soon. Yeah, no, that's yeah, Zed. Um, I think that's the that's why the um, the Chinese players have got such a, a high level of good skilled players because they're just always improving. Where, like you said, um, CNC players like Legend um, and, and that don't really grow much. Marco is probably one of the exceptions. Well, Marco do that of does Kingdoms. There's a few. Samuel does cream a little bit, but Legend doesn't really QM and hasn't really done for a while now, has he? But he's regularly QMs. Nothing else going on. Yeah, and and always having top level games head to head. Um, good Joe is, is is just just chilling really at the moment. Is he? he might lose a miner here. Some drones out. Nothing else going on. This mag on the cliff. 
just allowing him to take care of a couple of drones. Keeping the elite alive. Nice tank control, actually, there from Legend. Did well there. There was a lot of lashes. Good job. Maybe just uh, a victim there. Just trying to click on the elite a little bit too much. Um, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven war factories. Good job was on 6k and has a genetic mutator as well, which means his eco, um, he'll he'll probably sustain it, okay? Until he starts to run out of ore, which he'll need to sort his miners soon. What I'm left-hand side, just see these two rhinos. One vet, one elite. I see drones will come in. Runs it straight across the, the Deso radiation. Hopefully these are droned. Uh, MCB being moved to the top right. Uh, Lashes coming down the bottom now. Drones will do a decent job with the Desos to, to try and hold. Just gonna try and push up to this top side of these rhinos and, and get this MCB. Forces it to come back. And a lot of miners up there that are up for grabs. However, um, killing off a few miners may not make any difference because Goodjill could come in the game, it come into this now and end this. It's massively out tanking. Clicks on the iron curtain, that goes down to top side. Yeah, the miners are going to go down. Some lashes coming up there to reinforce, but mastermind coming as well. Genetic mutator used on a few brutes. The hell. Uh, Soviet playing against so many war factories um, with no iron curtain on the field is a definite GG. Just look on the left hand side. Nuke going down now. And does overload the mastermind eventually. Has the rhinos to come back now. May be able to hold for a little bit, but no MTV. That means no super weapons for the rest of this game because there's no service depot here either. There we go, Psychic like Dominator comes down as well, takes care of the barracks and war factory and the industrial thing. Mastermind is here as well, this is coming in. Legend's still playing this. War factory will go down. And Legend quits out. Um, so top side here is Legend, he plays in the dark blue colour um, as Soviet. Uh, Good Jewel, he plays in yellow. He plays as Yuri. Uh, difficult thing here for Yuri is defending the four oils fairly early on. It's difficult any faction you play to defend your four oils, but you know, straight away. Um, but Yuri, the ability to sort of flex and, and move around the map is probably the hardest of the three factions. Um, this initial play from Gujo is to spam initiates from either side of the map and push either oil. So going to push the oil on the left, oil on the right. Sentry already out. Mm, killing that barracks would be nice. Just going to grab the oil. He will get it. Kills that barracks up as well, which means on the right hand side, there is no sentry to come down and support that. Early on, um, Legend is already in a mess here. One minute and ten seconds on the game. Yeah, this is this is GG. Oh, he doesn't need to push all of them in there though. He can keep them alive, yeah. This is lost the power plant, yeah. Nothing going on, yeah, that's GG. Wow. Gonna see some allied. We are gonna see some allied. So Goodyear is in orange as allied. Um, and from what I've seen from him, this is his third series. He's not someone who is gonna bring out a double NGIV here. Um, I don't think he'll even go for a seal. Maybe wrong, but he he's quite a traditional player. Um, and he's played his Korea, so not America. Playing his Korea. Um, i would be interested to see how this ends up. Um, we've only seen him play once as allied, and that was against Latov on Heck Freeze, and he lost. He's four nil up now. So is is it a case of four nil up? I'm gonna I'm gonna flex a little bit, or is this four nil up? And um, I think Korea is my my best opportunity on this map. 
Um, obviously, oils for both players in the middle. I believe there's no power plant buff here for Allied. NG um, going to come into this flak. It does. This is uh, Rambo, so these guys have lots of practice on this community of playing against NGs. Legend will, will really hope he just he can just land something good here and just get himself on the board, can't he? Um, IFE coming out with GIs. Uh, yeah, double IFE GIs should really counter. MCV moves on the bottom left hand side. He's come with Rhinos here. Oh, NG coming out in an awful position there. That goes down. It's going to move the MCV. Normally, Ally do move to the bottom left here. And you can do that quite early. Uh, but he's going to play for this gems. Well, I say that I normally move bottom left and get the big patch of gems. But I uh, do see a seal now. So we do see a seal. I did. I did wonder if we'd if we'd see this sort of stuff. Eagles are coming. Maybe it says, "Okay, you chucked an NG at me early." I'll, I'm not. Um, I'm not completely immune to having a little bit of uh, shenanigans back. Still here. It's going to rally point it. Difficult target. The bunker's in a good position. The rep would be nice. The rep. That's a good rep to get. Yeah, to get. That's a good rep to get. Eagles are here, so he'll go for the barracks. That will cancel out the refinery. Will it? No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Ignore me. Um, scary amount of rhinos here, though. This is a scary amount of rhinos. Reinforcements are coming. Hasn't got a great deal on the field here. I'm repairing it. Good job. There's, there's not many grizzlies here. That's a veteran. Uh, may just use the eagles here. I thought he would. Going to just use the eagles to thin this out. Not sure how many shots landed. He's going to hold from this push here. A couple of reinforcements coming in. And then gets an elite as well. Oh, tank control. Yeah, just a little bit questionable, but he does realise. Pulls it back. Keeps that elite alive. And a second radar now. So one more eagle, uh, as you guys will know, especially if they blitz. Five eagles, you can start sniping more factories, refineries. Um... Yeah, interesting. He hasn't um, spent any money on fodder here, so no dogs, no GGIs um, out as such. He has used GGIs a little bit for IFEs and GIs for IFEs, but um, so here we go. If he hits this refinery, could get a sell on it if he's quick. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. See that chap? Yeah, the one, the one um, eagle was hit it too early, so he was able to sell it and um, repair it. Sorry. Nice uh, awareness there from Legend to see that. A little bit of a mistake from Goodyear. Um, flat coming out. Oh, he sells it. So he can keep these alive. He doesn't. He doesn't play Blitz, you can tell. Uh, but a big push here from Legend. A lot of Rhinos here. And they're going into the Miners. He's in a little bit of trouble here, Goodyear. Legend could get on the board here. 
Eagles are going to go down. The thing is, with all these Eagles, Eagles going down, they could throw some veterans and elites. Some GIs coming there to help now. Nice use of the GIs, and there are lots of peel boxes there as well. There's a few flaks in there, so not quite as many rhinos in there as you probably think. More Eagles? Mine is Array. Okay, he's a good join. He's now going to go broke. He needs to get back over to that side there. Legend is got to be in a strong position now. He's got to be favourite to win this one. Miners are going down. One. Keeps it alive. But look at this. Expansion down to the bottom left before that MCB that went down. Another miner goes down. So there's three over that side. Rocky trying to take care of it. I think we may only have three miners, four miners left. Couple of dogs coming into the party late. Good Jaws allied is, is clearly not as strong as his Yuri or his Soviet. However, playing with these Eagles may, maybe may ask the question of how how much is he trying to bring out his best possible allies he can. And this is gonna be four games of one. Legend will get on the board. Well done to Legend. we go uh, so over here on split level um, and this is interesting to see because good Soviet versus Soviet has been really really impressive uh, his Soviet is is his best faction in my opinion even though he looks incredibly strong with the Yuri So split level is a map that we do sometimes. We, we do see a lot of Yuri on this map. Um, not so much allied here. Uh, more Yuri and Sov. Uh, Legend puts his rep on the back next to the MCV. And uh, Good Joe does the same as well. Never too sure which is the, the best place to put your first rep on this map. If you're playing a Soviet. You can obviously put it down there. With these gems or you can come to these gems first. Uh, Voicing says he'll use Apox again. Uh, for anybody that, that doesn't understand what that comment means, he played against Latop on Tour of Egypt, Soviet versus Soviet, and um, and went for Apox. Uh, and let me just emphasize, he won that game, and he didn't bring out the Apox once in a winning position. He brought the Apox out before there was any real engagement. In fact, Legend had three War Factory, and um, Latop had three War Factories versus... Goodyear's won, um, Goodyear went for an, um, an Iron Curtain um, build. Well, it does drone him. It does drone him, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, service Depot comes out, so he repairs the miner. This miner here is on ore, so that's a mistake there from Legend. That will hit his eco a little bit, not on the gems. Uh, drone for legend comes up on the top left hand side. He's gone for a radar, so yeah, we could be anticipating the battle lab. I'm going to send one longest into the gem. The battle lab is here. Um, it is a map where Desos um, can be pretty effective. If you think about the choke points, it's not a wide open map. Desos can be pretty good. He's going to go for the Iron Curtain, isn't he? Two War Factories for Legend. God, you're feeling confident, Root says. Yeah. There's the Iron Curtain. He's very good with these Desos. He's very good. There's the Apox. It was predicted. Apoxes are out. Here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. The Apoxes are out. He 
We saw this versus Latov. Nice placement there from Legend as well. Gets his own Iron Cannon. Just the one for now. Crazy Ivan. Deso is there. Oh, gotta kill it. That's a crazy Ivan. Needs another death up here. There we go. I see. Drones were out. Crazy Ivan is still back in his base. Yeah, could split up. Could split up five or five rhinos down here, and then I and then push into this side. And he's got the option to either side to IC. But Legend's in a good position. He's on eleven k. Legend's in a good position. He should win this game from here. Couple of eight boxes now going to the top right hand side. There's the iron curtain. Drones. Gear off report. Gear off is out. Eight boxes, boys and girls, be careful. So there's definitely there. There will be a four shield. There's a four shield. It's the battle lab. That's going to go down as well. Needs to deploy here. Legend pushing in here. Trying to make this game 4-2. Drones are IC'd. Might be able to run in and get a minor or two here. Definitely one, you would imagine. I can get the battle up. Good IC drones there. Here up coming in. Iron Curtain is two minutes away now. Some blacks are ready. Curtain is now ready for legend. Um, Vigils is a minute and 20 seconds away. Drones coming across. Mace just I see drone again. Looks like that's going to be the, the case. <laughs> kind of clever trying to get one of his own drones. Um, I see. Not seen that before. Um, it's, it's spelled danger. This cure off is going to come in a new work. Needs a flat cannon ready. Needs a flat cannon. Does drone him there. I don't think he's noticed. He's very slow to this Kirov. He's going to get a miner there. Uh, War Factory going to go down here. Rhinos on the left hand side. A lot of Rhinos coming down to the bottom side. I see he's ready but this bit here. Also, do you see on that left side? Coming in here, the Iron Curtain is in trouble. No four shield. Here it goes down, gets an elite. Should be GG. So, Latov loses to the Apoxers, and Legend says, Not to me. So, we're on full run. Um, we have some career again. Uh, so two oils here, anyone not familiar with this map, and a power drop. Um, obviously for the yellow player in Legend, oils and the power drop there. So start with gems, gems and gems there. So very wealthy map, not a map that you need to push many miners to open. 
Boyston says Korea again. This will be GG easy. Dicker's prediction in chat. I think Legend should just go zero here. I think he should just be really aggressive. There's the wall factory. There's power drop coming in. So they're going to come across the bridge. Here is a flak. We are anticipating an NG. That's probably an early eagle as well. That's a very early AFC for a Korea player. Or power drop over this side as well. Gonna have to sell. Okay, it doesn't force a sell. Or oh, it does get it. So he gets his power. Wants to deal with that pretty quick. He will do. But it does lose his power. Potential of cancelling out uh, a builder as well. There's an eagle. Wants to get that busy. Uh, power drop on the bridge. GI power drops, we know they're very good as well. Uh, misses. Does miss. Or oh, the miner coming across to deal with the GIs. He used to use these eagles now for the rhinos and, and start doing that pretty quick. Does hit both on both occasions there as well. Pillbox is out. He should be okay here, even with the miner there. Just click them down. Needs to put his eagles up. Don't want to lose them. Gets another shot away as well. Really nice hold here from Goodyear. Like the idea from Legend. Did like the idea, but. Gojo's defense there was pretty nice. Eagle was helping around. Pillbox there as well. That's the power plant. Very forward power plant again. Finery comes out. Top right hand side there's a miner. Second miner there. Third miner. So three miners. One miner for the ally. Two miners for the ally. So two miners versus three. I think there may have been a wreck cancelled out. Eagle fodder. <laughs> uh, GI's on the bridge. Another black NG. Nice shot there. Has an eagle to come and take care of that as well. Should be a preempt sentry coming out pretty quick. Here comes the miner to help. Good back his, his GI's up there and gets a minor black engine on the right hand side. But Legend is in a lot of trouble here, you feel. NGIFE here will repair the it does take doesn't take care of that as well. Nice click. Legend puts question mark. It's low. He obviously felt like he captured it. He, according to the game, he didn't. The eyes now coming in. Uh, Connie's even. Uh, Papa will put him low power. No, it doesn't. Still has a power. The radar's still spinning. Gets a pretty important ref there. Legend do feel like he was in a lot of trouble. It's coming back in this game. What's the tank control like from both of these players? And it is Legend who's pulling through here. The AFC would be pretty big. He needs to fly the Eagles off and build another radar. Gonna get the War Factory. The MCV goes down, boys and girls. I'm surprised he didn't just put a, a, a sentry down there as well. Could have killed up some of the powers, but... A GI to try and help help him hold here. Going to need the sentries. There's a decent amount of GIs here, though. And with that pillbox. Going on the MCV. Comes away. Nice click from Legend. Nice bait. And it is good, Joel, who is... Able to hold for now. Two war factories though. Just two miners. Legend trying to make this for free. And the split either way. The miner coming in this time as well to help against these GIs. That's really nice. Another pillbox out. Nothing happening up on that side. War factory will go down. Oh, 
Oh, nice controller, legend. Keeps that mana alive. Another refinery comes down. Still has the two oils. Can't help but feel like the MCB capture could have could have done a lot more work in terms of just spamming pillboxes and, and getting these power plants. It would have really, really been an issue for him. Kind of got the MCB, but again, legend kind of already has what he needs. Um, oil going to go down. A lot of GIs. There was a lot of GIs. Uh, he's not bothering with a war factory, it doesn't seem. Yeah, not bothering with a war factory. Happy to go GIs. This GI could be killing an oil. That IFV could be killing a power if you really wanted to. Does notice it now as I say it. A lot of GIs here. He's still mining um, his legend. So he could take his time here. Well, Legend should take his time here. He could just put his miners back to work and say, okay. And obviously can't get a death, though. This amount of GIs is a hell of a lot, though. This is Yuri's Revenge. Some Flax now. Flax are good against the GIs. Flax are good against all units that come out of the uh, barracks. Here come the miners. It still has two miners working. Brings in three miners. The flax. Legend stack control here. As long as it's good, he should be. He should win this game. Gets one miner though. GIs are doing well. We're going to lose another miner there. So that's two of your miners gone down already. One of the miner goes down there though. He needs to pull this back desperately. Does. Probably wants to just pop it under there. Pushes the GIs forward now. Pushes him further back. Gets that miner there as well. It's going to run across now. War factory will go down. Yes. GIs are there trying to help as well. But there's still a lot of rhinos. We could win this game with just a barracks. That's the thing. An elite comes out. GI numbers are filling out now. Miner, just one miner. It's a second miner now. GIs again, still doing lots of work. The reinforcements are coming. And Legend will go four games to three. Kind of has the feeling of when Legend plays Zaslan, you know? Where it looks closer than... Maybe... I don't know how to word that without trying to be a little bit... I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe some of you guys will know what I mean. It kind of feels like good yours, just kind of, just playing around a little bit with his food. Uh, we're over on coldest peak. Uh, we're going to see good yours, um, Yuri this time. Mm, we're going to see a legend as Soviet. So bottom side here is the Sov. Top side here is the Yuri. Laptops adapts very well, says chat. Um, a brute does get a scout. Uh, the Yuri play a little bit quicker there with the war factory. Drone comes out, takes care of the brute. Uh, puts a gat either side. Uh, Rhino comes straight out for Legend. Then I, I would imagine he goes miners behind this. I'm going to send this mine all the way to the gems. So it takes a long time to get there. So there's a picture eco box he wants there. Um, them gems are really nice. Uh, 
Uh, when we saw um, the Osama versus Gujo series, um, obviously Osama played as Yuri and Gujo played as Soviet. And Gujo's like aggression early was was incredible to see. It was really really good. Probably the best I've seen in terms of my stream watching a Soviet versus Yuri. He just went early flak straight away and just harassed so well the slave miners. Just didn't allow um, Osama to do anything of, of what he wanted to do. Yeah, I think Zas, I think that's that's it. That's the one that probably I'd want to bring next. Maybe Marco, but get the impression of legend and well Marnik could go down here. There's drone on that left hand side to deal with. But can legend, the Yuri killer, get himself a, a nice juicy win here? I think this would give him a huge amount of uh, confidence if he could win this. And also he would be at 4-4, four, four, so it cancel out the first eight games. Yeah, I think Kian would be would be good. Kian's fast, he's quick. He's active at the minute, really active. That would be good to see, so. Although he does he is heavy on his RA too, but. Left hand side, some rhinos going. Got a miner onto them gems up there now as well. Battle lab is out for both players. And the iron curtain about to go down for legend in the dark blue. There it is. Where is the placement? Just behind the MCV there. Thirty dollars for the winner, sponsored by myself. First one, two, eight wins. Legend trying to tie the score up. Vigil trying to open up a, a two-point lead. And again, some lashes in the army. A little bit more so than we see the normal players. Vigil definitely likes his his lashes, his mix. Does help obviously when your mastermind gets overloaded by flags. And does kind of stop the Soviet plane just going just flags alone. There's a good little counter against that. Uh, just two war factories for the Sov with the industrial plant. Has a nice wreck down now, so we'll see a couple more war factories starting to come out. Uh, the Yuri player is on one, two, three. Has two miners on the left hand side onto gems as well. Just needs to move that miner ideally. There's the mastermind. Mastermind goes down. Chaos drone doing a little bit of work. Right hand side drones taking care of some lashes. Was the iron curtain on the bottom right hand side that took care of that army. Roots uh, are grinded. So three miners on the right hand side, uh, three miners in the middle, six, uh, seven, eight. Could move a miner then onto the gem. So eight miners for the Yuri player. So we play two miners on here, third miner on there, four, five, six, seven. So seven miners. Has some drones out as well, trying to capture, to spot any sort of units towards the back. There we go, like that. Iron Curtain is ready, so we're going to IC Drone. Gets three IC Drones in. One, two, three, four, five, six War Factories now. Ooh, Yuri. I'd like to see another grinder towards the front of his base. Four war factory, seven step OL. Genetic mutator is ready again. No dominator at the moment. Drones coming in and doing some work. 
just droned here. Trying to push back on this right side. The iron curtain is just over a minute and a half game time around. Genetic Mutator is ready. Reinforcements coming in on that left hand side. There's a Deso there trying to help and also some drones. Doesn't get it. There's a few lashes out there as well. Legend, legend, legend. What do we see in his base? One, two, three, four war factories. Both super weapons on the field. Has 13k in the bank. Legend is doing all right here. Vigil's Yuri we know is very strong. Legend is the Yuri killer. Nothing else at the moment. And a nice iron curtain keeps that alive as well. And the new could come in as well. A second battle lab. Second battle lab. Gajul is on four and a half K. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven war factories. Big engagement here. The lashes are there. Uh, the mag control trying to help. And it is doing well. There's a mastermind coming there now as well. A lot of rhinos, but the, the mags just doing a, a decent amount of work. And it's good mag control. Just kept in the back here. You can just see them. Just making it really awkward. Deso comes down, but does a little bit of damage on the Yuri units as well. Now he has overloaded. Here comes the nuke. Just see anything else happening. Right hand side. So you see a couple of war factories. Look like a power and a grinder in the battle lab. Um, but there's a second battle lab, so it'll continue to come. Couple of masterminds and uh, a mastermind in there gets a couple of rhinos. Deso, nice Deso deployment and runs back over it twice. Could put them rhinos to work now. Iron Curtain is ready. Does get the mastermind. Can't see anything else, chat. Lots of lashes loading back up. On oh, the Iron Curtain went down. There was two rhinos. Two rhinos and the Iron Curtain went down there. That is disappointing. Very disappointed. No four shield used by the looks of it. Battle Lab was there. It's been there the whole game. Well, a big mistake there from Legend. That's going to be very costly to him indeed. Now moving the miners. Going to come over to this full patch here. Miners over there as well. It's going to bring him into the middle to mine the gems. Legend in trouble, isn't he? Losing that iron curtain. Legend in big trouble. This is good yours game to win now. We'll take. A bit of a throw here, you'd have to think, from Goodyear to lose his game. Mine in the middle with the gems. Got a decent amount of money in the bank. Lots of war factors pushing in here now. This is a scary army. Mastermind is there as well. And the discs are helping as well. There is a black cannon there as well. Mastermind now getting overloaded. So the rhino is giving back. Another mastermind coming in. Iron Curtain is four shielded this time, but it'll slow down that Iron Curtain being able to be used. Mastermind again, just chipping away. Got some Connies in there as well, so he's overloading. Going to come across the Iron Curtain this time. Definitely won't get it this time. And Elite Rhino comes out. Legend is trying to hold on. Gap there, just on the right hand side. A lot of this this time. This lashes. Major's tactics is pretty clear. It just sort of pushes the war factories, pushes some miners out there so it keeps his eco going, and then he just feels like, okay, I'll just out tank, and I'll do that by just going lashes against the Soviet player. Mastermind helping again. War factory goes down. The nuclear missile is ready. Good try to put him low power here. If he's wanted this, that would be a good play. But he's just taking care of anything that comes out of the war factory now. Gonna go on to the Iron Curtain. Nothing else, boys and girls, happening. There's the nuke. Let's get a cell, let's get a four shield. Iron Curtain and the nuclear missile goes down. Five super weapons for Soviet on the field. Five super weapons are on the field for Yuri. Good Jules Yuri is very strong. Indeed.
And this can be a difficult map for Yuri, this one. Lots of um, Yuri players, if you ask them, like the early and mid game is not bad, but once you get into the late game, it's very hard to defend your miners on this. Like, his miners are all over the map. It's quite hard to defend. Um, so if you get behind on this, you, you can just keep losing miners. It's hard to, to change, but mind at all in the middle gems and all these war patches being able to do so legend just can't claw himself back in this um got to respect legend though still battling away here still battling away just turn and get the miners uh, rhino's coming in to try and help industrial plant not quite gone down just yet Flashes again doing work. This is there to help as well. Gets an elite flank. Nothing else going on on the map. The Iron Curtain is back on the field. Flashes are now going down. Mm -hmm. Iron Curtain back on this spot here. But four miners mining there. One, two, three, four, five there. Fruit comes out. So that's nine miners. Ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe thirteen miners I may have counted. Two for legend. Three. Four, five, look like a couple of AFK, six, seven, eight, nine, but not mining efficiently, especially in comparison with the Yuri player. Using the brutes this time. Miners are coming across to this are doing work. And that's gonna be the game. Gonna war factory number. Still building miners out of the war factory as well. They build so quick once you obviously have that amount of war factories. War shield is used. Um, won't get the iron cut, and the disc will hold back. We've got a whole bundle of miners here. Okay, makes it easier for me to count though. Thanks, Legend. Oh, I think the poor sh the poor shield had gone. I'm surprised he didn't get the iron cut in there. It looked like it was weak enough for the second dominator to kill, but um, I mean, there's enough miners on the field alone to win the game with miners now, um, because obviously. This game is done, and a legend could, could and should quit, but he is fighting on. He is fighting on. There's the Iron Curtain. Trying to get a miner, and he realizes all of these miners that are coming in. One, two, three, four, five, maybe even six or seven minor kills won't make any difference greatly at this stage. Just look at the play. Um, so we're on positive guys, Yuri versus um, Soviet. The left hand side is good job. That starts with the oil, next to his MCV, bottom right hand side is legend. Starts with the oil, next to his MCV as well. Nice batch of gems to start with on this map. Um, seeing Gujar play this as Yuri versus Latov's Soviet only sort of two or three days ago, and Gujar was really strong on this map. Um, they started in the corners with the oils, they were opposite spots, but yeah, it was pretty devastating coming across the bridge. A couple of Connies out, just going to garrison the buildings. Gujar's brute comes across. We'll get the scout. <laughs> An early radar. Drone. Said his drone stuck. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, his drone stuck in there. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's going to drop this on the red. Yeah, oh, nearly gets it. Yeah. 
A mag uh, either side. Trying to get his miners to work here. Lasher coming out as well. Nice tank control. Oh, sentry comes in. That's playing from Legend. He needs to get his miners back to work ASAP. Has the deso now, so hopefully he can do so. There's the battle lab. One, two, three, four miners. Versus four. Anyone know the score of the football? It's Croatia versus Spain. I got Spain in my sweepstake. So I'm going to move the miners onto the gems now. So Legend um, didn't lose a great deal there. Did lose a bit of mining time, but and this is the issue on the back of this. But yeah, what's going on there? There's just a gap for it. But on the back of this. Um, Gigi has got himself down to the gems patch. He's got two war factories, a battle lab, and the genetic mutator. The mastermind coming down here, so we'll take care of that. There's the nuclear reactor. Some wax now. Gets the desert. This goes out. We can get to Rhino as well. Third war factory now from Goodyear. Industrial plant. Just a dog going up the slaves as they're walking. Let's go grind the Deso. Pushing some rhinos up to the top right hand side, but Legend just really struggling to get going here, isn't he? And Goodyear has just control. And he's had control really from the start here. Legend, the Yuri killer. So Legend has beat Goodyear's allied twice. Um, both times it was Korea allied. Reptile. Full run. And also won the third game, which had split level Soviet versus Soviet. So he has yet to beat his Yuri. MCV move to the top right onto the gems. Oh, drones there. Really, really good drones from Legend. All of his drones there, cleaning out um, Goodyear's army. Lots of value onto the masterminds. Trying to come up for a mine on the top. It has the MCV move on the top side as well, which is nice. Power comes out. Does get it. Does get it. Still a concern of how much um, Ujo has control of this game for Legend, I believe. Genetic Mutate can be really valuable on a map like this, where all does run out. Legend still has a lot to mine. Would you're running out of ore patch there. It has an ore patch there, it has an ore patch there to, to mine. The MCV has been moved, it's a second MCV. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Now war factories, genetic mute all being grinded, then brutes. There's a view this on the stop sign, there are a lot of blacks though. Mine curtain is now ready. Mining this, this is a nice, if you can mine this and he mines that, it means he'll, he'll inevitably mine more and have more um, resources for the genetic mutator. A nice iron curtain. Wants to get this mastermind. That's the power. 
and the leak comes out. And good Joe Zico is struggling now. Eight hundred dollars in the bank. Black cannon, nice black cannon placement. I'm gonna run back with that mastermind, just seeing if he can just grab a couple of rhinos, flags, but he doesn't. Unsuccessful. Genetic mutator. Which are right there? Look at them brutes. They're on six seventy in cash. And now is on eleven thousand. So I've got the battle lab and a couple of war factories in there. Uh, boost on the eco. Or push on the bottom side. This is what Legend's good at. All of this. This is in the wrong place. This one's big down here. Gonna lose these miners. The miners aren't massive that they've died. He doesn't need that many miners now because of how little all those on the field. But it does make a difference with how much he can get in terms of his genetic mutator. And it does kill off that mastermind. Legend's still mining. Uh, and no psychic dominator for good job. Gear of reporting. Is he pulling his miners? What's the miner situation? He's still got all that to mine. Got some brutes. Got nowhere near the amount of brutes he's he's got previously. Still has two patches to to mine. Not a great deal of ore left there, but gear up on this top side. Legend, um, legend, okay here. Legend is okay. Not genetic mutation is a big concern. There's a lot of rhinos, and he has an elite in there as well. Gear up going up to the top side. We'll get a bunker, grind down a wall factory. There's the Iron Curtain. I think Legend wins this. I think Legend wins this, even though... I would much more prefer to be in Legend's position now. For sure. What do you get a deploy? It does. One of the things that you got to try to do here, it's, it's a difficult one to wear, but if you're playing as Yuri here, and you're going to get IC Jones, it's to be able to grind. It doesn't, and, he, and Legend wins. 5-4. It's over on Stardusk. Soviet versus Soviet this time. Five games to four. I'm still here. I was just uh, putting my food on. So an early century by the war factory preempted. Two miners onto the gems. Third miner here, this drone just trying to be annoying, has forced another sentry. Uh, both players just taking their time, building up their egos. Vamos legend, says Saw. Welcome in, Saw. You still playing match blitz yourself, Saw? So it does drone, so could you all get to drone in? Heavy on the eco. Service depot is out. Get to Rhino there. Top left hand side, nothing happening. Lots of fodder there from Goodyear. Lots of dogs. Trying to split up a couple of rhinos to this top left hand side. Legend is pretty good on the splits. 
must be said um, already identifies that. Sounds like a few people in the chat are calling for, for Legend to play Path in RE2, of course. Fourth War Factory for Legend. Fourth War Factory already up for good deal. So two runners shall have split on this left hand uh, left hand side to the middle. Looks to engage now. As I said lots of dog fodder there. Doesn't he have enough tanks there for Joey? I don't think he has. He's over committed there. Legend could push him back here. He will push him back a little bit. Not all the way. But definitely he's okay on this right hand side. Four miners mining this bomb patch. Three mining here, so that's seven. Not sure what happened to the miner there. Trying to push on the barracks, trying to stop him from, from building down. Doesn't overcommit. Rhino's coming in to push him back. Good you trying to, to make things happen, but Legend just responding to it, to it every time. Legend's kept the game pretty simple so far, and it's been simple and effective. It's doing okay, pushing in the middle here. Some reinforcements from Goodyear coming. He's coming across to this middle patch. Now he's going to loop back on himself. Another war factory just coming down there. This is clicked on the screen. Rhino's pushing in. They look to get a power. Trying to push in here, trying to make something happen. We'll come on a power. It's going to be a free power kill. That's nice. May just look to regroup up. Doesn't. It's going to keep moving around. Top left hand side, nothing happened. Legend playing this very well as Soviet. Credit where credit's due. Legend playing this very nicely, keeping it simple. After being a few games down and this being really difficult, Legend is fighting and fighting away. The MCV, he'll get he gets it. At what cost? To push the dogs back, he doesn't really lose anything and gets an MCV. Gudgel. Sends it down the field. Legend has sold off the MCV. I'm not sure why he has 7k. The duel pushing him, waiting for him to come in one by one. Pulling the miners to just try and help. Big engagement on the bottom right side with the base trade situation. Base trade on the right hand side, but. Legend is in complete control of this game. A lot of uh, drones on the field. Rhinos, the legend, just massively out tanking. This has been um, an impressive game here on Stardust. An elite Rhino now comes out as well. As a Deso. Wits 5-4. Um, so, and this is a map that Goodyear did. Was This was the map that Goodyear beat um, last off with the Apox. Um, I would imagine with the score being 5-5, five five, Goodyear will be um, not attempting any Apox. I could be wrong, but Legend looking to take the lead. Max saying, I think the legend wins Soviet versus Soviet, and Sash saying, I think so too. Thomas says, legend is warmed up. He's, he's playing better than what he started, for sure. 4 0 down. Thank you. 
very, very similar builds for both these players. Um, arguably identical, but they're selling off their sentry then as well. So, Legend Ops for another Miner. Could come and uh, shoot these GMs. Or go into. Needs to prime the war factory and get a sentry into there, doesn't he? So a little bit of gems lost. Uh, no worries, Pat. Thank you for, for your comment. That's nice. Yeah, thirty dollars for the winner for these guys. Sponsored by myself. Good deal is going to come a rich man out of me. This will be the third sponsored share matches that he could go on to win in, in within a week, week or 10 days. Connie is coming forward. Connie is from both players. It's a forward war factory now. I wish he had stopped doing that. That's annoying. Um, I'm pulling a miner over to this patch here. Now a radar out. Deso coming as well. Deso could be pretty big here. The Deso each now. Just needs a sentry or a drone. There we go. I'm going to have a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a standoff, you feel, the next minute or so. I feel like Legend's really warmed up here now. I just felt the first seven, eight games that, you know, that the Goodyear just just had too much for Legend, and that was my um, opinion. And it just feels like there's not really anything between these guys now, especially when it's Soviet versus Soviet. The Poltergeist Legend getting the win and playing the Soviet against Goodyear's Yuri would have been a big, big uh, confidence boost for Legend. And now he's a five heart. Now he's looking to take the lead. You only need to take the lead once in a series to win it, if you do it at the right moment in time. Couple of uh, choppers on the cliff. Or of Egypt, it's uh, it's nice to see it in a, in a show match. In Yuri's Revenge. Just has a nice feeling, doesn't it? Because everybody plays Tour of Egypt, no matter what level you are, you've, everyone's played Tour of Egypt. And everybody's been killed by Chuppers and the Cliff and a Boris and all that sort of stuff. Here up is out. Let's get a snipe on the Battle Lab. Iron Curtain did come out. Very close to, to losing that. Oh, nice. Got the Boris. Finery? Will it be a radar? Oh, good value. Good value. Well played to Legend. Good value there. Now the Iron Curtain comes out first for oh, good job. That's pretty big. One minute between the two ICs. Good job is ready first. He lost the battle lap, so no forward field. No forward shot. Oh, fully bunkered. Needs to try and push him far away as possible. But that garrison building doing a lot of work. Does get it. Then I come across to the Iron Curtain. Didn't need, didn't really need to go for the battle lap. There was no forward shield. However, does really slow him down to build up. He's going to lose all of his army here. So the drones on the back of this. But he is massively out tanked. Oh, that miner coming in. Nice. How many drones did that get? Probably five. Five drones possibly going down there. Oh, fully garrison building doing work as well. 
There's a Balam. Nuka Reactor will go down as well. But there is a second one. So he doesn't want to shoot that. Doesn't really want to go for that. It wouldn't really bother my time. Okay, he puts just two Rhinos on it. So it's okay. Comes across. I'm going, this is a fully garrisoned building as well. He's not going to get it. Good yo. Now. He's in, a, he's in a command and lead here, you'd say now. I'm going back up though for Legend. He does rebuild it. Neither players have a four shield now. It's still fairly even, I feel. Both of these uh, juicy garrisoned um, Egyptian huts uh, were, were really nice for both players. So he forces. He's going to go for the IC drones. He gets an elite, or he loses the elite. A lot of value for them drones, a lot of value for them uh, Connies as well. Giving an elite away, but then taking the elite. Connies are going to walk forward now. There is a radar still, there's a barracks here. See a lot of these uh, miners were droned. Oh, gets that drone there as well. Ah, uh, that Desso Desso as well. Gets an elite rhino, can he pull it back? Legend is holding on, you feel, here. He has an iron curtain, it's going to be ready in 15 second game time, so the iron curtain is now running. Iron Curtain is now ready. Rhino's pushing forward. Oh, that bloody garrison building. As I see the Iron Curtain, he's still shooting it. There's an A bot comes out now. The legend quits. Ooh. We're back downhill rush. Soviet versus Soviet. Vigil has a lead, looking to win this one, they're going to match point. Neither player has garrisoned um, uh, buildings across the bridge. Maybe a possibility here. I was a bit slow coming back from checking my food, but maybe possible that he has anti scouted here. Good job. You see the dog going down here. The Connies are still here. Maybe the fact that he has stopped him from scouting. Black comes in. This may just be a scout, but it could be an NG from Legend. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, just said, oh, I guess there. There's a drone in there. I think there was a wreck being built. Service did, but maybe cancelled. I imagine there was a ref being built and that was cancelled.
behind curtain for legend. One and a half minutes to go. Because you're going to be a little bit slower on the um, Iron Curtain. Service Depot, probably a reason why, because he got droned. Just probably the difference there, slowing down his build a little bit. Yes, I was out. Legend trying to tie things up. Ref comes down to the bottom spot. Nice place on the ref there. Iron Curtain just helping him to stretch his build. Nesso there is nice as well, blocking off these choke points. Good job, was a good minute and sort of 15 behind on game time on the Iron Curtain. Pop the iron curtain, yeah, it's gonna run. Legend in a strong position here. Had a lab. Let's get the cell. This iron curtain's going on for ages. Legend now comes out. Just some preempted drones there in case there was possibly a trade. Siege chopper is up. Getting a death zone. Legend in a strong position here. Now the nuclear missile is out as well. Battle Lab went down, so I've got to rebuild the Battle Lab. I rebuild the Iron Curtain. And one more factory versus one, two. Industrial plant also. The Battle Lab come up as well. So Legend winning on, on every account. Minor numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Legend on three war badges. This is this has got to be Legend's game to go six six. Gear of reporting. He's having to kill the bridge. I'm not going to get there in time. And I come across to the miners. Best may get a warp actually, but I don't think he's going to. Service Depot is out. I think Goodyear is probably going to quit here. Um, he may just wait for his Iron Curtain, just to hope that. I don't know what he even Iron Curtains. I just played this really well. Player defeated. There we go, 6-6. Six, six. Goodyear plays as Yuri. Legend did win the last matchup against Yuri. So there's an oil. We have a walk-in uh, briefcase man. Not sure where Legend is sending his. Maybe because the brute has saw it and saw this path, he's trying to hide it. There's the flag. There's a cannon there. And a nice click from Goodyear. Now I got a couple of gats. He puts a miner straight there and a cannon. Bloody hell. That is nasty. Sentry comes out. He may be low power. And he has to sell it off, yeah. He has a miner there now, and it makes me doesn't really want the miner to be. Could repair that. This is still. 
there's a miner there. But Goodyear getting his war factory really big. Puts the miner down there and the gat can. I think the key was low power for a second. Um, but this will definitely slow him down a little bit. That slows down the radar for sure as well. Bunker's not going to save him there. There's no conius. The mag there as well. And the tech workshop is huge. So all players have their oils, but the tech workshop for Legend goes down. And pulls his miners from there as well. Not much left at all there. And also it just means two areas he has to try and defend. Desos are here now. Uh, well, they're able to start coming. They're not just out quite yet. There we go. There's the first Desso we see. Mag control. What's it like? Pulling back. He has the lashes in there as well. And Mag as well. Just moving it around. Seeing that. Wasn't juggling too much. He didn't move it, but didn't juggle as much as he quite maybe would have wanted to. But let's clear up his army. He's quite come from somewhere. But both the orders are still intact for both players. You see the battle lab now out as well. Legend in trouble here. There's no doubt about that. He is in trouble. This garrison bunker in the centre just did a little bit of work. An NG of its own. So miners. One there. Two. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Legend, one, two, three, four. So Legend just needs a steady, steady things now, doesn't he? Try to capture an oil. Nothing to defend against this. Let's get the oil. And uh, trying to get the iron curtain out now. Both players with a super weapon on the field now. Undeso goes down. Should garrison this quite a bit. To just bunker out, garrison that up. The bunkers are nice. And um, let's repair this bridge as well. I don't know who done that. I've seen that before. It's a little bit difficult for Yuri to get in here. Could maybe try wrap himself around all them blacks. Don't push there. Legend, do not push there. Yeah, could see if he could come all the way around, maybe. All war factories, and the, and the second army will come. So if the IT drones this, the second army is just going to come straight back out. Yeah, it's building the war factories up. Legend in big trouble here. Thank you, some report and welcome, buddy. Hope you're well. Oh, Desos do get a little bit of damage. drones. There they go. Second wave of attack. It looks for lashes. Look at that back there, boys and girls. All them units have gone. Legend in trouble, isn't he? This, this is looking like Pidgeot's going to take the lead going on to the final match point. Brutes are out. the bunker. Only a couple of Connies in there though. The mastermind trying to help. Doesn't get as much work as it would like to. Lashes are running through. But you just feel like he's out tanked here. Too much legend to be able to hold here. Mastermind is coming now as well. He's trying to hold on legend but it's not going to be enough. 7-6. Both players move the MCV. Both players move it um, a very similar distance. Gidjul just moves it a yard or two but before the power plant comes out going to be barracks and we're going to see a lot of connies here. Yeah, 
expected. Miner just pushed back a little bit. Coming onto the wreck. Oh, it does get a nice bunker in there now. Bunker goes down. Good Gio just winning this game, you feel slightly. Continuing with the bunkers. And sentry as well. It's not going to work. Legend in big trouble, boys and girls. Oils aren't pre captured on this map. Quits. We're all done. Eight six. Which is geez. Well played to both. No worries, boys and girls. I might be streaming in a little bit. I might play some some Rambo or see if we can get a RA2 show match going. So if someone wants to do that, let me know. Final score is 8-6. Um, thank you all for, for joining.